leading arrest. Since then, the authorities jumped into action, detaining Navalny's top associates, arresting scores of protest and issuing repeated warnings that such protests are illegal. The center of Moscow has been shut down, making any large gathering there next to impossible. Why such a heavy-handed response? Let's hear now from Michael McFall. He was the U.S. ambassador to Russia under President Obama, and he spoke a short time ago with Weekend's Paul Coletti. Well, it shows that they're very fearful of what might happen today. Uh, they're taking bigger, more uh, comprehensive uh, measures, like you said, arresting almost every senior leader in the Navalny team uh, days before. It's illegal. They've made that clear, and they've told everybody it's illegal. We've had some people in by and these kind of confessions saying, I've made a mistake uh, to test a, to go out on the streets last time, don't do it this time. I just think it really underscores how this moment has shaken uh, the Kremlin and Putin. So they've decided rather than to let the protest Last year, protest in Khabarovsk following the arrest of a local governor. Uh, the Kremlin simply waited it out then. Why not do that with Navalny's movement? I don't know the answer to your question. Uh, you're absolutely right that Khabarovsk had incredible demonstrations that went on and on and on during the summer. And then... But after last year, and there's no doubt in my mind that the, the regime, what, what um, Putin and I, people can debate, but obviously the Russian government tried to kill him. Uh, he then went to Germany and recovered and then had the courage, amazing courage, uh, unfathomable courage for me uh, to go back to Russia knowing he was going to be arrested. And I think that is up the stakes here about uh, Mr. Navalny as the leader of the opposition, as a threat to Mr. Putin. And that's why I think they've decided to crack down. Now, you mentioned most of his team had been placed under house arrest, but there's one guy who uh, is still at large, Leonid Volkov, and we've got an interview with him later on in the program. But I just want to play you this brief clip. This is Leonid Volkov speaking from exile, uh, talking about the goals 